What's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Tesla Model 3 Standard Range. You know what's so funny about Maryland weather? Literally, three days ago, it was 36 degrees. It's 36 degrees. Now, I'm not even wearing a jacket. And it's like 65, 70 degrees. It's really nice. And it's the middle of February. I mean, like Maryland weather is so crazy. And three weeks ago, it just snowed. For those of you guys who are new to the channel, welcome and please hit that subscribe button to support the channel. The specs for the Tesla Model 3 standard range is as follows. The MSRP starts at $45,000 and the battery size for the standard range is 170 kilowatts and the range on the full charge battery is 272 miles and the single electric motor provides 283 horsepower. There are no torque ratings for electric vehicles because of the fact that the power goes instantly to the wheels. The standard range comes with rear wheel drive while the other two trim levels come with all wheel drive. The Tesla Model 3 standard range weighs in at 3,500 pounds. Also a shout out to uh, Edward for letting me borrow his car. I think the coolest feature of the Tesla is that it comes with eight cameras and it can record all the time and has sentry mode so even when you're not in the car or around the car it still records when it detects movements as you guys can see on the front bumper you realize unlike regular cars there's no air vents on the front uh, grill because of the fact that it does not require cooling like a combustion engine and over here in the uh, bottom left corner we have a functional air vent I believe Tesla put it in and they did some testing to make it a little bit more aerodynamic for the Tesla uh, Model 3 headlights, I personally don't like them, but they do look modern. It's just that I wish they made it look a little bit more aggressive. All right, now we're gonna check out the frunk. And here are, is the frunk space. And the frunk is practically a front trunk, which is one of the benefits of having a Tesla extra storage space. And you could fit an entire day's worth of groceries here. The Model 3 comes with the standard 18 inch wheels with aerodynamic caps, which you see these gray pieces here, and they are removable and there are optional upgrades to the 19 inch sport wheels. So here's the side view of the Tesla Model 3. Okay over here you got one of your uh, side cameras over here and then as you can see the door handles on Tesla's if you guys don't know they're built in so you just literally push it up to open and over here we got another side camera here is the back end of the Model 3. I think they've done a wonderful job with the taillights. It is very clean look to it. I just love how it has the red outline around it. And then uh, the turn signal right here. And it just looks, got a really clean look to it. Uh, as for the spoiler, uh, lip spoiler, this is uh, not standard. This is actually aftermarket. And then I love the Tesla emblem. It just really looks really, really nice. Uh, gives it an overall very, very clean look to the rear end. And here we have the trunk space for the Tesla Model 3. Plenty of space. It is about three and a half feet in length towards the back seats. And if you go down here, you got extra storage as well. When I first got a Tesla, I had no idea where the charging port is. So the charging port is actually in a driver's side uh, tail light and you just tap it and it opens up. Now let's go over the charging times from an empty battery to a full battery. With the Tesla mobile connector and an at-home 120 volt outlet, it takes up to 36 hours to fully charge your battery. Now, if you want to purchase the Tesla at-home wall charger for $550, then it would only take you six hours to fully charge your battery. Now, the best and fastest option would be to go to a Tesla supercharging station. And at the time of this video, there are over 900 supercharging stations in the United States. And at the supercharging station, it takes less than 30 minutes to fully charge your battery. Another cool feature I love about the Model 3 is the glass roof. As you can see, it transitions into a tent and you can't really see inside, but pretty much it is all see-through from the inside. Here are the rear seats. It's got pretty adequate space, so let's hop in. For me, I'm 5'6", so it's decent space for me, but I say if you are six foot taller, you would, uh, it would be a very tight fit for you. And the white seats, it looks very nice, but the thing I don't like about white seats, they're very hard to keep clean. And then one thing I love about the Teslas is that uh, this outline, it changed with the color seats, so it gives it a nice look. And the minimalistic design, 
It's just one button here, and this is the button to open the door. For Tesla's, one thing I love for the mid seat floor, it is flat. It is completely flat, so you have plenty of space for the, uh, the passenger sitting in the middle. And you got all this leg space right here. One thing I like about Tesla's is minimal design. You only have two buttons on the steering wheels. This is for the volume and then changing the music. This is for some other things. This is for turn signal and then windshield wiper. And then you got your gears right here, your windows. And then everything else is on the screen. One of the coolest things about the Tesla features is that you're able to watch streaming services such as YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, Twitch, all here on this big screen right here. So this screen practically shows all the controls, basic controls for your Tesla from controls, your pedals and steering, your charging information and shows you how long it takes to charge your vehicle, um, your autopilot, locks, lights, display, your trip information. And the cool thing about the trip information, it shows you how much average energy it actually uses, navigation, safety, that's pretty much it. And you got your service, different uh, information. The Tesla app, the remote start, um, sometimes it doesn't work. And especially if you don't have connection and you don't have your hard key, yeah, you might be stuck. So here's what the screen looks like while you're driving. I'm gonna do a left turn signal so you guys can see the blind spot mirror, which is really cool feature to have. Overall, the uh, in-cabin uh, noise is to the minimal because it's full electric, so you can't really hear you know anything going on. The overall ride quality, in, in terms of like the smoothness, uh, feeling the bumps, uh, you do feel some bumps. It's not like super smooth luxury uh, quality from like other luxury brands, but overall, it's great ride quality. I'm not complaining. Um, unless you're very picky about like the ride quality, I think it's pretty good, uh, way above average. All right, we are going to do the zero to 60 test right now. Oh man, that is some fast acceleration. Okay. Another cool feature about the Tesla I like, this right here, it can sense literally everything. Look at that. It can even see like the turn arrows or whatever you call it in the ground. And then the vehicles all around you and even the traffic lights. Yo, this would have been a good feature in Bird Box. They should have had a freaking Tesla. They wouldn't have died if they had a Tesla. All right, the pros of owning a Tesla Model 3. The most obvious, it's all electric. So you will never need gas again, um, especially with gas prices rising and there's a finite supply of gas. So I think that is like one of the biggest benefits to electric car, saving you money on gas. Tesla has like almost zero maintenance. That's a huge plus. Cause you don't have to worry about maintenance costs of oil change, transmission fluid flush, radiator going bad, none of that. The only thing you have to maintain are the tires, brake pads, and rotors. The optional self-driving capability. Yes, it may cost $10,000 or plus to kind of have that full self-driving uh, mode, but if you're like always in traffic and you drive like three hours uh, every day, it might be worth it to uh, have that feature. Technology. I like to say to people, Tesla is not a car company. It's actually a technology slash software company. And as time passes, their technology and their software features get much better. And there's more charging stations, faster charging stations. And I think electric cars will be the future, especially within 20 years, the majority of the cars on the road will be EVs. Okay, now let's go over the cons because nothing is perfect. So while uh, it's a pro that Tesla doesn't use gas, it's also a con. So let me explain. If you're in a rush somewhere or you forgot to charge your car the night before and you only got like 20 miles left on the charge on your battery, it takes a while. It takes time to charge up that battery, you know? As for a combustion engine car, you can go to a gas station and fill up in less than five minutes. This may be a con for some of you guys, depending on where you live, but the, the glass roof, it can be bad, especially if you live in very hot climate areas. So some people who live in Arizona, temperatures can go up to 120 degrees and it is hot over there. The battery life. All right, the battery life of a Tesla, just like any other batteries, like a phone battery, it will die and dwindle down as you use it. The max uh, range might be 272 when you buy it, but five years later down the road, it might be only go up to 200 or 180. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I really hope it helped you guys out in some shape or way or form. And if you haven't already yet, please hit that subscribe and like button to support the channel. And I hope you guys have an awesome day.